Hey guys, it's Dan from Veritas Psychology. How is everybody? It is Thursday afternoon in Virginia and it is about to snow here. So I am going to uh, fulfill my promise to y'all and finish up this video or create this video for the low tech flow hood. Um, this is the exact same thing. This is precisely the same uh, unit that I used to use in my home before I had a lab when I used to use it for brain transfers, uh, inoculations, uh, culturing, etc. Anything I would use my flow hood for now. And I really never had any issues with this. Uh, I can't promise you it's going to be 100% safe. It's going to depend on you and several environmental factors. More than several, really. An infinite number, honestly. Uh, but this this should work for you. It's much better than a still air box, in my opinion. Um, and I, you know, that debate goes on and on. I, I don't know. I, I, I still have yet to tell you guys my still air bomb story. So uh, uh, somehow I avoided that. I will have to get to that at some point. But this thing here will serve you well if you decide to do it. It requires this unit. Um, it requires the uh, fill treat uh, unit that's in there. So you got 60 bucks in that. A row of gaffer's tape or good duct tape. A uh, cutting blade that's extra sharp. I'm using a disposable scalpel. You can use whatever you've got around. A, a razor blade, whatever. Just make sure it's very sharp. Uh, some ISO. And a dry cleaning bag. Now this dry cleaning bag has a great story. This came from a guy, This is I love Virginia for this reason, especially small town Virginia. Uh, I called up, because I was gonna shoot this video last night, and I called up a local uh, dry cleaner and asked them at 10 minutes before they're closing mm -hmm. if I could purchase some bags for them. And the guy that answers, uh, and this is Augusta uh, Cleaners in uh, Waynesboro, Virginia, and the guy that answers, his name is Chris, and he says, uh, hey, look, uh, it, we're getting ready to close. I'm happy to meet you somewhere. And I'm like, what? And on top of that, I, I said, well, listen, let me grab some cash and I'll, I'll pay you. And he's like, no, no, I won't take any payment for it either. So this man not only meets me halfway uh, at closing time for his store, but then brings me a whole bag full and won't take anything from it and wishes me well and asks uh, about our company and so forth. And what a great meeting that was. And what a nice person, man. I love interactions like that. So thank you, Chris, very, very much, man. Uh, we really appreciate you for that. So, uh, and if you need any cleaning done in this room, go see our guy Chris over at Augusta. So let me show you guys how to do this. Once you've got your filter installed, and make sure that you've got a HEPA filter, okay? Uh, if your unit doesn't come with one, and I'm not sure that they do, uh, make sure you buy one. Uh, it's a very easy package. I think I've got it sitting here still. So you're going to want the purple one, and it's 3M filtry, same stuff we run in our flow hoods here. Um, and you'll start it like this. It's very, very simple. This is your air intake, and this is your air exhaust. So you're gonna to wanna to turn your unit around like this, ensuring that it is unplugged, and mine is. You look at your opening here, and you're gonna to wanna to take three strips of tape from your roll. Uh, do, 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 do. And, you know, Generous 12 inch strips. <laughs> we'll call them that because I'm terrible at measuring. Generous 12 inch strips. We'll call three of those for now. And this is not a hard and fast rule, folks. If it, it takes you a couple more, then it takes you a couple more. It's no big deal. So, what you want to do is take the outside of your bag and kind of bring it together like this and take one of your pieces of tape, okay, and just kind of gather. Let down half of it on the bag and half of it on your table or work surface and kind of push it as if you were like pushing material into a sewing machine and kind of bunch it up. Not too much, but just enough because you're going to have more bag circumference than you do area to cover on the exhaust. So you need to kind of make up for that and use your tape. So keep the tape about halfway on the bag material and halfway on the table like that. And then you can just lift it off the table. Now we're using a stainless steel table. Of course, that makes it much easier for us to facilitate this. So you're going to want to put your first strip right across the front of the exhaust. Remember, only half of this tape is really covering anything. The other half is attached to the bag, so it won't really cover all the vents that it appears to be. And you'll want to smooth your tape down very well. You'll sit your unit up, gather your whole bag, kind of flip it over, and then pull your edge around, and you can see where I'm going with this. You'll Work here on this edge, whatever one's convenient to you. Lay over 
and should be roughly at a curve here. So lay over your other existing piece of tape and roll it out and then kind of gather it and lay it down as you go around the outside of the honeycomb pattern for the uh, air exhaust. And just remember to keep gathering and tucking your bag material under here. And watch yourself over in the corner to make sure that you don't have uh, any slack in your bag there and it doesn't get uh, caught up in the corner and cause a little bit of a turmoil for you. So don't, don't over gather. It looks like I might be able to do this with just the two pieces I've got. We're gonna use three because you're gonna use multiple pieces actually. All right, you need to. Um, it's important to be certain that you've got a good seal on your bag to your unit. Yeah, you own it. <laughs> bump, bump, as Linda Belcher would say. Bump, bump, oh, Bobby. One of our favorites. The wife and I love to sit around and watch Bob's Burgers. It is absolutely one of our favorite cartoon brilliant stuff. Uh, funny, funny, funny. In fact, that was one of the things I loved about my wife when I first met her was her Bob's Burgers uh, shower curtain. Time for the charm bomb to explode. <laughs> all right, so you can see that all I'm doing now is, or maybe you can't see, uh, but I will explain it. Uh, I'm going around and reinforcing my seams and just kind of bringing my tape out a little bit on both of my uh, seam drill, and I will pick the unit up and bring it over to you and show it uh, closer to the gimbal there. And I'm gonna grab a couple of short pieces like this. Just half the little pieces of tape. <laughs> uh, we miss Bob Ross, right? <laughs> I know I miss Bob Ross. That was what, like that used to be my Zen time. Uh, that's how big a goobers we are. My wife and I, we will sit around and play old Bob Ross videos and just chill out and listen to Guster. Uh, and that is our meditation time. <laughs> All right. So anyway, this is your tape job. It's, I think I'm good there. And I'm gonna turn this up on its side so that the exhaust is forcing out. And I'm just gonna play the bag out a little bit. Now this has var variable speed control. It's got three different speeds. Uh, and it goes zero, three, two, one. Three being the highest. So you'll want to have your scalpel ready, your ISO ready, and uh, you can pretty much so put your tape out of the way. Your ISO will sit over here. And you'll wanna go ahead and glove up now. Now, I should, if I were going to actually use this flow head, I would, number one, have something covering my sleeves and probably be a little more concerned about this. Of course, I just ripped my glove. Let me pull another one out. Da, 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 da. All right, the old hands. So. Get this ready, make sure you've got your blade ready as well. And don't be intimidated by this, this is not a big deal. So you wanna make sure you go to the lowest speed, flip it over to zero, and you're gonna to wanna to plug it in first. <laughs> yes, you are. All right, plug it in first, then go to your, your speed number one. And as you do that, you'll see the bag begins to inflate. And the idea here is, as it inflates, it's going to create a tube of sterile air and cut a slit here and a slit here for your armholes and then a small access port with an X towards the end. In doing that allows you, and you can widen that out if you need to by just simply putting your hands in and carefully stretching it. Make sure you're being safe and recap your blade. And then if you find that you've made your holes a little too big, yeah, turn the power up. Captain, she's got to have more power. And if you haven't sterilized beforehand, and you can, you can spray this bag inside and out with ISO, and I recommend you do. Uh, and make sure that your hands and everything else is sterilized as well. Spray the outside around your holes and your flaps. Go inside, spray your unit inside. Now, am I recommending you do this with the unit? 
going, no, because I don't want anybody doing anything unsafe, but I've never had any problems. The exhaust being, blowing it out, generally takes care of any issues. So, and then of course, wipe down your ISO bottle and leave it in there. And if you've got another one, which we happen to, then you can ISO down whatever you've got going in. Work on it and tweak it out so that it works for you. If you don't like my way of doing it, do it yourself. That's cool, man. That's a part of experimentation. I just want to give you an idea to work with. So for less than 60 bucks, uh, maybe 65, I've never found a, a, a dry cleaner that ever charged me more than a dollar or two, honestly. So, uh, and that's for a huge quantity of bags. So you'll find them, they're very generous. These, these bags are very, the reason we like them is because they're very cheap and they're very light. Uh, and this makes for an excellent flow hood. So let me take the gimbal and uh, walk you around this and show it to you real quick. There you go, you can see there's the uh, slit that I cut out. In X shape, it kind of blows itself out. My arm holder here for me to reach in and work through. And there's the unit itself. This is a really fantastic way for you to start working with mushrooms now at your home. You can do grain transfers here. You can work with your liquid cultures. You can do your agar plates here. Uh, figure it out, guys. You'll fi you will figure this out. And if anybody wants to build a big monster one and show it to me after they've done it, man, with like a, I don't know, like a bounce house attached to a giant one, I will love that. So. Uh, whatever you guys get into, man, I, I, I definitely want to hear about it. If this is, has inspired you in some way, fantastic. Uh, if it hasn't, then uh, use it as something to make you inspired uh, to do it better. Um, I, 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 I appreciate everything that you guys have done for us. We love the love that you've given us, and we hope to be giving that back in these videos. Let us know what else uh, you're looking for, and we'll try and get something up there for you immediately. Uh, We'll see you later, guys. We really appreciate it. Bye. Hey, friends. Don't forget to check us out at www.veritasmycology.org. Also on social media, on Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, and Reddit. Also look for us on YouTube where we post all our videos.